Hey everybody, it's Chris from Sideshow Gamble, and we are back at the table again today. And today we are going to do the rare Kahuna. So, <coughs> pardon me. Wow, got a little bit of a cough today. So, anyways, today I got this. I mean, it's not that I got this. That this is a strategy, I should say, that comes from Brian over Hawaii Craps Shooters. So he's been working on this one lately. He's got a the little Kahuna, the big Kahuna. And so forth. I'm calling this the rare kind of version of it, only because I'm going to play it slightly different than what he does. Where we're not going to be doing hard ways, but we're going to press a little bit differently. Now, what he's come up to now is he's collecting three hits. He collects, and then from there he he uh, he'll take down the four and ten. Unless he hits a four and ten, then he just pulls the four and ten after that because it pays for the hand. So we're going to do it in the same. It's a fifteen dollar table. We'll be paying a pass line. I did. I do have a $2,000 bankroll here. I've got 10 in single right over here on the side. And then we're going to take our 15 on the pass line. So we're going to play it the same way, only we're doing the big version where we're going to be 35 on the 4 and 10. Uh, and if we whack ourselves, then we're going to go with, I think it's a 105 on the 4 and 10. And if we whack again, we're going to go to 245 and then 525. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to see how it works out. For us. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be working on the come out. We're going to be following the puck and we're going to be setting the dice today. Hopefully, that works in our favor. So, we're going to start this. I am going to change my dice set up a little bit here because I was watching a, a show and, about dice setting and we normally do the 5 4 5 4. However, we're going to change that up a little bit today and we're going to do the 6 3. Two, three. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stick with the 6-3-2-3 three, three today, and hopefully it's kind of a V3 set, only I've got the hard ways on the front and back. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this. $2,000 bankroll should be good enough for all four levels. Hopefully we don't have to get to all four levels. And here we go. Dice are moving. And we're going to get a five deuce. Okay. Well, that is just grand and randy. That's $15 winner. Rack that up. That's not exactly how we want to start. But then again, I think maybe I need to change where I'm launching from here. So we'll go back to it. Kind of a free reign right now, considering it's a come out roll. We'll shoot from the N here instead of the, the L. And another five deuce. Okay, maybe we are going to go back to the hard way um, because that's two sevens in a row, five deuces. But it's another $15 winner right there on the front line. Put that back there. So that's all profits now because we haven't... I haven't put any money out there. So, all right, let's go try the hard way, Chris. Go back to the hard way set. Stick with what you know. All right, here we go. And, yeah. And we're going to get a two by four. The two and the four together. So I really, I, I was really intrigued by this strategy from Brian. And... I very much thought it was pretty cool. So we're gonna try it. So we gotta come out with $35 on the four and the 10. There's our 35. And we'll be paying VIGs, all right? All right, those should be buy bets. All right, and we're gonna do 66 inside. So 60, 65, 66. There's our 66. Yes, I know we're gonna, going to include the point. So what he was doing is it's three hits on the inside or one hit on the four and 10. So what we're gonna do, but he was collecting on those three hits on the inside. What we are gonna do is we're gonna press on every single one of those. The rare kahuna, this is just Sideshow Gamble's twist on it. 
Don't know how well it'll work, but we're going to find out. And I think that's what he likes about these, this strategy is you get to get a lot of options to get out of the hand. And look at there, we're out of the hand already. It's a hard four, the two, two. Check it out. All right, so we'll mark that up. That is going to pay $70 for two bucks. So we're going to drop two dollars. We get that, and then we get to pull that all down. And from here, I'm just going to put that up the rail here. I know my rail is going to get messy. I apologize. But now, from this point, everything's paid for. Everything. Not even worth. Not even bothered anymore. So. If we get a 4 and 10, then we go into the same pressing that he was doing. And I really like how he presses on the 5 and 9s. And we're going to get a 2 by 4. All right. Got that 6 right there. All right. So that's going to pay 21. There's for a place bet. And we're going to get 15 on the pass line. So what we're going to do... We're going to get, what is that, nine bucks back? Nine dollars back to us. We're going to take the six all the way to 30. And we got 15 right here. We're just going to rack this up. All right. So our bets are off. Again, we're following the puck. And this is uh, mostly... Brian from Hawaii, crapshooter's strategy. It's just I'm going to be pressing a little bit differently than he does. And we got a 4-3 on the come out. That was a little bit of a weak toss there, Chris. But we're not working. So there we go. We're going to rack that up. Come out winner. We like that. Stay focused at the toss, Chris. Let's not get all willy-nilly here. And we're going to get a 6, 4, 10 out on the end here. 6, 4. All right. Too far. There we go. Got it on that time. Always get it on the second try. All right, we are working. We've made a little bit of profit. This is a very good low-end strategy. You don't need a lot of money for it. I just have a bit because that's because uh, we're going to do the big Kahuna style. So four one five. All right, that's going to pay twenty one. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that all the way to the quarter, and we're going to rack up eleven bucks. So if you just like to go the 66 inside, you can kind of see how he presses, how I'm pressing. The only difference I really would make on the rare kahuna compared to his big or little kahuna is on those first three hits until you get a 4 or 10, I would press the inside every single time at least 22. And then on that third hit, I would pull it back down. And there is a 6-5 mid mo yo. That rolled. That is not a four five one six. It was a mid mo. I apologize on the roll on the dice. All right. I feel a six coming though. Maybe that is what's supposed to come next. And a nice light touch here. It'll bounce around in there, and it's an ace deuce, the shocker, the one deuces. Mark that up, one deuce. All right, doesn't do anything for us. But what I really like about this strategy already is we are paid for, completely and entirely. All right. 
And there's a 6-2 easy 8 right there. Nice little shot in there. That one felt good. 6-2 easy 8. That's going to pay 21. Again, we're going to take this up. We're going to rack up $9. So we'll put the $9 in the rail. Now he picks up the hard ways. He'll drop a dollar to get 10, and then he picks up the hard ways for a dollar or for five, and then he puts the other five in his rail. But I really don't want to put any more money from the strategy out there or from my rail. I'm already paid for. I just want to keep profits rolling in. A little bit more conservative. He plays more of the table, which is good because you can get more payouts. And we got another ace deuce shocker. One deuce. The sauce is all over the table now. There you go. One deuce. We need a 10. And I have a plan to get out on the 4 and 10, but only if we're hitting them. If we're not really hitting them, I'm not getting on them. All right. All right, there's a 4-3. All right. It's all good. We collected some money, but we're going to lose all this. All right, that all goes bye-bye. All right, but the positive is we don't have to come back out at the next level. We can just stay where we're at. So we're going to be pass line again. And we're going to shoot again. Oh, I should have put that 4-3 in, shouldn't I? Oh, I hate putting that in there, but it's in there. All right, we're going to try something. We're going to try the 5-3-5-3 five, three, five, three this time. See what that does for us. Should be pretty much the same. And we're going to get a 5-3 easy 8. All right, we're coming out on the 8. Let's see if this time around we don't hit a 4 or 10, and I can show you the other way I want. All right, so we're going to come out with our $35 on the 4 and 10, just as he does. There's our 35 on the 10, 35 on the 4, and then we are going to go 66 inside. So we'll get that situated right now. There we go. There we go, and we are set, ready to roll. All right. Again, we're going to do a 5-3, five, 5-3, three, five, three. just changing up a little bit, see if I can get some practice with a different hard way set here. Give me some different numbers. And we got us a 6-3, easy 9. All right. So here is what I would do differently. All right, that's going to win 21. Now, he invests a little bit of money here and there throughout the strategy that he plays. But I'm going to take that first. I'm not going to collect it. I'm going to press it. So now I'm 88 inside. Still, though, if the 4 and 10 hit, then that takes care of, uh, takes care of the inside. And we're just ahead a little bit. And we got a 5-3, easy 8. Nice. All right. So, mark that 5-3. We get our $15 on the pass line. And we're going to get $28 for that hit. And we're going to do a press again. And what that's going to give us is we're going to be at 110 inside right now is where we're at. I'm not, uh, not worried about anything. Second press, rack it up. So we've pressed 44, all right? So total overall press is 44. Oh, wait, I gotta pick that up too. So overall, 44 pressure. If we get a hit, we get 35. So 35 plus 
44 is what? 35, that's 9. It's about 79 bucks. So that's what I kind of thought about is instead of just doing the three collects, which would only give you a grand total of um, $63 and you had 66 inside and then you still got to pick up the four and 10 for two bucks each. I'm doing the press, 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 and then I, at least I get an extra $9 and I can still do the same setup. So, but we're not working because our bets are off. Doing a 5-3, five, 5-3. Three, five, three. We gotta get a point set. Let's get our point. And we're gonna get a 3-1-4. Big Joe from Crafts Master Journey in the house saying hello. Now the positive right now is if we get a hit on the 4 or 10 on this next roll, then we're paid for. We can pull the 4 and 10 down and we're we're good to hook. So this is a money shot. All right, and dice are moving. And we got an ace deuce, so nothing, not a zip zilch, the shocker. <gasps> we stand in shock. I should expect a horn number every time when I'm right ready to be where I need to be. But it's par for the course. Welcome to the Sideshow Gamble Table. Happens more than I would like to admit. All right, can we get that four? No, we're gonna get a six two easy eight. All right, so we get to show it this side of the house. Six two, easy eight. All right, so we know we're gonna pull the four and 10 now because we've got our three hits that we need to go for. We're gonna get 35. There's our 35 and we're gonna come back down to 66 inside. We let the profit work for us. And let's see how much we got real quick. So here's our four and 10, which is 70 bucks. And here's our profit from, from the wins and pressing. That is 75, $79. And now we are good to hook. Everything is paid for. We got a little bit of extra cheese in there, as he would say. Put all that up there, that there, put that there. So that's that's where I say that this is rare. I mean, it's rare to be able to do that. I mean, you would think a lot of people could be able to get the three three hits, but be surprised how many times it's like a horn or this, that, or the other thing. Let's go back to the 5-3, Chris. That's what we said we were throwing. All right, and away we go. And it's a 6-5 mid-mo yo. Chiro's in the house again. The rare kahuna. A little bit of discipline in here. A little bit of smart math play. And understanding how everything pays with vigs. And but then again, i got to just say thank you to Brian over there. He always comes out with a really good strategy. One of his other strategies that is a favorite of mine is the hybrid quarter pounder with ease and that's a six two easy eight the hybrid quarter pounder with ease is one of my favorite all-time strategies it's just a go-to it's going to pay 21. again we're going to pull back nine dollars i'm going to rack that up and we are going to take that up to 30. i really like how he does it this is where i pick up on the way he presses Especially when he gets that five and nine. He just, it's ingenious to see it. All right. And there's a five, three, easy eight again. Awesome sauce. All right, that's gonna pay 35. And we're gonna press it up to 60. Rack and five. There's a lot of YouTube content providers out there that give a lot of good thought process to what they play. 
and I really do enjoy them all. And there's a 5-1 mixer. You got to hit the like and subscribe, folks. That's the rule around here. 5-1, that mixer. Okay, again, that's going to pay $21. We're going to rack up $9. And we're going to take that up to 30 bucks on the 6. I very much enjoy it. This is a game of... If you truly like this game, you can. there's so many different ways to play it. So many different ways to get in and out of a hand. Now, yes, it's nice that I get to practice in my own house. There's a midnight train, the boxcars, the 6-6. Six, six. All right, there you go. Working our way toward that ATS right now. All right, we drifted right on that one, so I'm going to flip the dice around back to a 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. All right. Pardon me, a little burpage. And we got us a 2-3-5. The 2 and the 3 together is going to make a 5. It's a happy matrimony of the 2 and the 3. It's going to pay 21. And we are going to take that to 25. What am I doing? And we're going to collect up 11 bucks. So I like that this is a very low-end strategy. Yeah, we had a $2,000 bankroll, but it's a very low-end. And, uh, you know, we're just working our way through it. We're making money. We're pulling something back to the rack almost every hit. Trying to go for some big hits in here. And there's a 6-5 Midmo Yo. Chiro's still here. Say hello, hello. Definitely go check out Midmo Yo. It's a great channel. Also, guys, there's a new channel out there. It's called Old Bay Craps. He's a great guy. Um, need to go check him out and hit a like and subscribe on his page. He's getting his channel up and going right now. And uh, he's a great dude. Give him some love. Go give a like. He's just starting out, so... Be gentle on the comments, but he's, he can take it. He can take it. And there's the 6-1. Okay. So, we didn't make it anywhere. Don't normally throw that one. It's not a typical, not a typical one for us, but we still got out of the hand. Still pressing it up. I think we'll go, what's their time at right now? Our time's at 23. We'll go one more shooter. I know, one more, right? It's famous last words. All right, we'll grab some different dice for this one. The Rare Kahuna. All right, this time we're going to set a 5-1-5-1. A five, one, five, one. See what that does. It's still a hard way set. 5-1-5-1. Five, one, five, one. Dice are moving. And it's going to be a boxcar right out the gate there, folks, which means I'm going to lose this. And I'm going to come down with another $15 on that pass line. There we go. Not a typical set that I throw, but at least I got the six. And I was way off the mark. Random at best. And we're going to get a 4-1. Start on the 4-1-5 there. All right. Take it. All right. So we got to do our $35 on the 4 and 10. There we go. 4 and 10 at 35. And I'm just, I think I got enough in here to drop 66 inside. I think I do. This is all been my rail anyways. We'll take three. Three, get some caps on. There we go. Now, remember, we're going to still do the same pressing method that we went with last time. Now, see, the difference is, is I'm not bringing any, I'm not lowering my risk 
the way he was doing it. He's lowering risk the entire time. I am not by, uh, by pressing. All right. And we got us a two by four. Build them together. Two and a four. All right, that's going to pay 21. Again, we're going to throw in that extra dollar. We're going to press the inside. Now we're at 88. Now remember, if we get a hit on a four and ten on the next roll, then we just come back down to 66 and we're good. Or we just leave it where it's at. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. And we got us a square pair. Because they would remove the obstacle there. There's a four. And there's a four. Jake and Rob. Square pair. All right, that's going to pay 28. There's our 28. We're pressing again. The inside. Now we're at 110 on the inside. We're racking up six bucks. All right, now we get a 410. Cool. We'll bring everything back down. We get some extra money. We get an inside hit. Still going to bring the 4 and 10 down, and we'll be happy hunky dory. We get a five. No, it's going to be a six one. Okay, folks. I guess we are going to get this going a little bit longer. Six one seven. All right. So we lose everything out here. It's kind of cool that we get to see this side of it. All right. So now we've got to go up to one hundred and five. on that 4 and 10. There's 105. There's 105. We're going to get our $15 pass line out. And let's go ahead and set up a 66 inside for us. There's for our 66 inside. So this is the moment. So remember, we started with a $2,000 bankroll, and now we're going to go back to our 5454. We are not working on the come out. Just putting it up there for you guys to see. Pretty cool that we got to get that big red. Did I mark that 6 1? I did not. We should mark that 6 1. All right, there we go. We got it marked. which is an on-access on toss. And there's an ace-deuce. Wow. Ooh. We are, we are nickel and diamond ourselves now. All right. That's two come-out losers we've had. But we do throw it. All right, we're set. And we've got a 6 four, ten. Wow, we couldn't have been working on that one, huh? Could we? All right. But we're hitting some 10s, so everything's working now. Let's see if we can't get a 4 or 10 now. That would be awesome. We would take care of everything from the last hand, minus the profits that we had pressed. But we would take care of ourselves and... Right back at square one and pay for the hand we're in. And we got a 4 3. Wow. Ooh, guys, we get to see this thing go all the way up. All right. So, those lose. I'm going to leave the 66. I'm going to take the 15. I'll just drop another $66 to replace that. But now we've got to go to 245 on each 
So let's get that situated. 240, 245. There's 245. There's 245. And I gotta pay the 66 to get that situated over there. Get that 66 out. All right, remember we start with a $2,000 bankroll. Sorry, my head's in the way. There's my 66. That puts my 66 back up in the center. Just so you guys see that I'm paying the money. All right, and I gotta get a pass line. So let's get some more change. Move that stick out of the way. Oh, sometimes can we get, can we last the run? Can we last a run? That was a PSO right there, folks. Four, three. All right, we are not working right now. All right, dice are moving again. And we got a six, three, easy nine. Six, three, nine. Wow, I can't toss that, that puck today to save my life. Six three nine. All right. Well, at least we're getting a good look at the entire strategy as a whole. Hopefully, we don't go bankrupt. Now, the only downside is when you start leveling up, you got to get a four ten hit. And there's our four three one Big Joe from Craftsmaster Journey, always saving my butt. All right, so that's going to cost us, real quick, I'm going to pay 10, pay 12 bucks. $12 is going to be our VIG on that, give or take. Might be off a dollar or two, but 12 bucks. Now that is going to pay us a sweet 245, so we'll just put the 45 there, which we know is going to pay 90, and that's going to pay 400. So there's 400 right there and 90. $490 and we get to pull all of this down to include the 10. Let's put that up there, pull the 10 down and like I said this would be our last shooter since we're already at 32 minutes. The rare kahuna here. Let's just play it out. Let's see what happens. We started with $2,000. We're going to see where we're sitting at the end. Did we make money or did we just lose our, our brains by doing this? And we got a 6.5 mid mo, yo. I always seem to get the horns when I bounce too much. 6.5. Gotta get that bounce under control, Chris. Nobody wants to see horn numbers all day long. We're not betting horns. We wanna see profits. There we go, that felt good. Oh, look, it's another horn. Aces. The 1-1. One, one. Now, it is the horn train. You guys know how it goes on this channel. When we throw one horn, we usually throw three. What will it be? Will it be the Ace Deuce, the Shocker, or will it be the Midnight Train? It'll be a 314 that we're not on anymore. Shucks. Shucky, shucks, shucks. Let's see. And we got a square pair. All right, we'll take the square pair. And seeing as how we've been doing it all night, we're just going to continue to do it. It's a $21 winner. Again, we're going to put $9 back up in the rail. And we're going to take that all the way to 30 bucks. And we're going to just keep it going. Never know. We could get on a good long run here, and this goes for two hours. If it goes that long... I might have to end it because I've got to go to bed at a decent time tonight because I've got to work in the morning. All right, dice are good. 
And that's my phone. And there's a 6-2 Easy 8. Nice. 6-2. It's going to pay 35. We're going to press it up to 60. Rack in the 5. Don't know why my phone's going off at this hour. Works tomorrow, guys. Works tomorrow. All righty. And we got a 5-1 mixer again. Got to hit that subscribe button, folks. We've thrown it twice now tonight. 5-1. All right, that's going to pay 21. Again, we're going to rack up $9 in the rail. And we're going to take that to 30. We're being aggressive on our pressing. Aggressive on the pressing. Got our 5-4-5-4 four, four down here. I like the hard way sets. They really started to grow on me. Ah, 6-1, folks. 6-1. Wow. We just couldn't keep it going tonight. A lot of PSOs. Good runs. Definitely getting out of the hand. But we just couldn't capitalize on some of those wins. I was hoping to get that 8 up to 120, get a hit on it, and then just drop it back down and let it ride out. But it didn't work that way for us today. But we did start with a $2,000 bankroll. Let's see how the rare Kahuna or the Kahuna base strategy treated us today. $2,000 was our buy-in. I'm just going to grab the black chips here first because it's a lot of black chips here. All right, let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We got, ooh, wow. Seventeen? Eighteen? Nineteen? Twenty? Twenty-one? There's 19. There's our $2,000. We don't have a lot of profit up here. We've got profit, though. Definitely got profit. All right, what do we got in profit here? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's $55. That's more than 20. 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, $96 in profit, folks. 96 bucks. It doesn't make a lot of money, but uh, it definitely gets you out of it pretty quick. Um, and I enjoy it. It's fun. It's a, it gives you different options. And we weren't rolling that great. Our, our SRR is under average. We're at a 5.5. I mean, but you can see, and we doinked ourselves like one, two, two times in a row. We were up at that, uh, at, what was it, 245 level on the 4 and 10, but we got a good hit, and we came all the way back down. So it just protects and pays for itself. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Again, thank you, for Brian, over at Hawaii Crop Shears for coming up with this strategy, and I just did my own little twist on it um, because I think that's how I would play it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And if you got a strategy you want to see rolled out, shoot me an email in the link below. Um, it's out at the bottom of the description. And uh, I'll roll your strategies out. So, as always, guys, until next time, I will talk to you guys later.